Hi everyone, this is Virginia from Soul Talk, and today I wanted to talk to you guys about uh, one of the signs and symptoms of a spiritual awakening. I think this is, well, my personal experience and I wanted to share it with you guys. I think this can vary from person to person totally, but um, there are really some common signs and and it's it's good for all of us to to understand a bit more what's what's happening uh, when we're going through this uh, very very special phase of our life. So um, in my case, I think I was always a very spiritual person, not not religious person necessarily, but uh, very spiritual. And I think with the course of the years I have absorbed whatever feels right from different religions and, and who cares about you know religions and I think it, it's all a matter of pursuing what makes you uh, what makes you feel alive and connected and it's about what resonates with you right so it, it really depends from person to person um, I think in my case, uh, in the last, oh, I just put a flower. <laughs> um, in my case, I had always been, like I said, very spiritual. I had several layers of awakening, and I think it keeps going, right? Um, I think it's it's all about human evolution and we I mean we're here to learn in this life so I think the path is is you know infinite so some of the some of the things I've, I've experienced in the last few years and that I think are very um, are very specific to an awakening. Uh, so in the last two years I have been dealing with a lot of anxiety, a lot of panic attacks. Uh, I would say yeah until perhaps September last year or even a bit before I've been dealing suddenly with all this amount of stress all this amount of anxiety and I was having all sort of panic attacks happening uh, it wasn't nice it was not nice I have to tell you it was very difficult um, yeah because you have no idea what's going on and you want to be in control but this is something that you cannot control right so and that's that's a phase that it's called the dark side of the soul right so many people before this enlightenment they will feel this total it's like you reach the bottom you know it life gets so stressful so painful really and you try to juggle things, you know, you, you're still going to work, perhaps you still have a relationship, you still have social activities and you cannot deal with anything. So that's how I felt, like um, stress off the roof, like really. So anxiety and, and being into situations where you simply just want to run away and you avoid the human contact as much as you can right so that's what it's called the dark side of the soul and it's a purge really so it's 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 a purge of all the shit all the shit coming out of 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 your system you know so that's what i learned that's 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 a great gift actually um so before that uh going back to many years ago i think i like i said i had layers of, of awakenings moments where where you are 
totally in awe with life, you know? I think many of us experience these glimpses and and a lot of motivation and, and, and really um, starting to realize there is there is something else, right? There is something bigger than you and and I had layers of those before, I would say maybe ten years ago, you know, and you start reading and you start discovering people like Eckhart Tolle or many many spiritual teachers right uh Rumi or yeah different people that I started to to encounter in my life and yeah I have to say well many other things happened before but I just would like to start from the past few months really because that's where I feel the fastest transformation had happened. Um, so like I said, until maybe September, so in September actually, I was feeling okay and well, stress levels still high, like very high, like I said, maybe the past two years, like really high stress, not happy with my job, but still, you know, in this, in this sort of cycle. Um, having a relationship and, and all that, right? Okay. And, well, I, I had a breakup with my ex-boyfriend and then things at work suddenly and expectedly started to go down the hill. And and that's usually a, a very clear sign of an awakening. So something something shakes shakes up, you know. Even before that, I was having also a lot of unexplained feelings, you know, unexplained symptoms. I would have pains, like weird pains, I don't know, like a pain in my leg, a pain in 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 the head, uh, something tingling in my ear, my my eye shades um, pounding non-stop, like very, very weird things happening. And I, I used to go to the doctor and I'm like, okay, what, what is this pain about? You know, like heart palpitations, like all sort of weird, weird symptoms in my body. And, and then I realized that this is your body sort of releasing a lot of stuck energy, you know. And then, um, like I said, things went down the hill when my job and my relationship sort of like... Um, didn't didn't work out as I thought they would, you know, and and they basically told me both of them, job and relationship. It's like, well, yeah, we still like you, but but I mean, we're not crazy in love with you, right? So I was like, oh, so hurt, right? It hurts because you identify with that so much, and then you think you really love yourself until something like this happens and then it's like oh they are not loving me the way i would like to what what is what is the deal right so i realized that the only person that can love me the way i want to is myself so uh it was a whole a whole moment of truth for me to really uh understand that um what i was really looking for it was it was inside of me right so I started to <laughs> non-stop watch so many videos um, I don't know something inside of me guided me to to say okay this is what you need to look at it so it's self-love you know you you think oh yeah I really love myself I poof I really do and then you understand that we have no idea about how to love ourselves Nobody told us how to love ourselves. Nobody did. Nobody. So, um, loving yourself, it means during the 24 hours of the day, every single thing you do, ask yourself, does this feel right for me? Am I loving myself while I'm doing this? Um, if you're in a job, that doesn't make you happy, you will not be able to love yourself because you're giving something 
to yourself that it doesn't make you feel good. So you will be angry at yourself, like, why on earth am I doing this job, you know, like, why am I doing this to myself? So it's, it's very important to, um, to understand that every step of the way, it needs to be aligned with us. Otherwise, there will be suffering. Like, inevitably, it will be painful because you, you I mean, you're going against, against your true uh, nature. So those are the kind of questions that I started to ask. Even, I don't know, if, even if I'm just at home and, and then um, eating crappy food, you know, and, and then you say, okay, why am I feeding myself this kind of food uh, is it is it good for me no it's trash you know it's pure cholesterol whatever and then you understand okay I I need I mean if, if I truly love myself I would be eating something nicer I would be feeding myself something nicer you know something healthier those those kind of things and um, I don't know even if it's just like uh, taking a hot bath whatever whatever feels good to you and again I think it's a lot of saying no right uh, learning how to say no to others and yes to yourself if, if that makes you feel good if that's really what you want what you want to do um, and then and then I have discovered Tantra oh my god Tantra it's like like I have no words to describe it really because I was I, I've always heard about Tantra right and I was I was always intrigued by it and I was always like oh okay yeah you hear about a uh, Kama Sutra well that doesn't resonate with me a lot you know and then Tantra I, I always saw that as something more I don't know elevated and um, I, I was I was introduced to it and it's it's the I think it's a very very powerful tool that will directly directly and very fast guide you to self-love because it's all about um, it's all about sac sacred sexuality basically and it's about the sacredness of our whole being and it's not about just it's not about sex so it's it's all about it's all about enlightenment and it's all about how our body is a tool to access our inner world so we are sexual beings we we are born out of sex right so sex is something beautiful and sex is the life force that created us and we have never been told that way so sex was always i always thought oh i have an amazing sex life you know and and it's not really about it's not really about that so it's all about expansion of your consciousness and connectedness with everything and feeling one with the universe and really understanding uh, what we're all about and, and the joy that comes, that, that comes from within. It's, it's unlimited. So as soon as you tap into that world of uh, your inner self, you are connected to something bigger than you. And as soon as you are aware of that, it's like you keep receiving downloads from, from something bigger outside of you. And you can call it the source, you can call it God, you can call it energy. You can call it as you wish, but it's the nature of everything and it's, and it's the reason to live, 
this is this is this is this is what we all should experience sooner or later we will experience so anyway um tantra has been has been an incredible an incredible discovery for me and like i said it's the most healing tool that i have discovered recently uh, of course I, I do a lot of meditation yoga so this is this is the yoga of love you can put it that way so it's about sacredness sacredness of the whole being and sacredness of um, other human beings and and it's it's so power it's so powerful it's not even powerful it's so divine it's so divine so yeah that's 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 what started to happen i would say uh, since maybe september october and it keeps on growing and it keeps on growing and i keep exploring and i keep going to different levels of depth within myself and different levels of 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 uh understanding and it just feels amazing so yeah I will be sharing more um, I'm actually going to a meditation yoga tantra retreat in Chiang Mai in Thailand very soon so I will be sharing more on this um, and I hope I hope you enjoy this video yeah Bye. Bye-bye. Have a good day. Take care.